The city of San Diego is going to sue SeaWorld for $12 million in rent that went unpaid during the pandemic. ABC 10 News reporter Austin Gravish is joining us. And Austin, SeaWorld has yet to pay despite multiple demands over the last couple of years. Good evening, Kimberly. In SeaWorld's most recent annual report, the company actually bragged about having record uh, revenue. That's in this report right here. And what stood out to me is that in the last quarter of 2022, the company reported a record of $390 million. SeaWorld is a beloved theme park that attracts millions of guests across the country a year. But the city of San Diego says the corporation hasn't been a very good tenant. City Council has voted to sue SeaWorld for over $12 million in missed rent, penalties and interest. I think it's incredibly disrespectful and I think it's a demonstration of greed. City Council President Sean Elo Rivera told me SeaWorld is the only tenant that hasn't paid its rent to the city. The theme park was forced to close down for parts of 2020 and 2021 due to the COVID pandemic. Elo Rivera says the company stopped paying rent in early 2021 and has refused to cough up the cash it owes. That makes me mad. SeaWorld said last year its attendance numbers were down, even though the company reported having another record year in a message to shareholders in its 2022 annual report. Elo Rivera says there's no excuse for the corporation to miss its rent. His criticism comes as the city faces requests from youth groups in San Diego's most neglected neighborhoods for funding. There's one resolution to this that's acceptable. It's SeaWorld paying every single dollar they owe us with the interest they owe us and the fees that they owe us. And that's the end of it. This isn't a negotiation. I asked SeaWorld for an interview earlier today. The company denied my request, but in a statement, the company does tell me it has enjoyed a decades long relationship with the city and SeaWorld says it does hope it will be able to resolve this issue with the city sometime soon. Reporting live outside the city admin building, Austin Grabish, EBC 10 News.